Oh man, in this video, we need to talk about Cardano, a top 10 altcoin, which if you bought seven weeks ago is up 150%. But this is just the start of where I think Cardano could reach in this next bull market. In this video, I'm going to break down my thesis around Cardano, why I've continued through the bear market, DCAing into Cardano, and I'm planning to add some more. Yes, this price target will shock you guys. Smash up the likes. Do not forget to subscribe. Guys, if you do want to trade with us, jump into our Telegram group, ejars.uk forward slash TG. That is where you're going to get a whole bunch of alpha and active trading. Now, for your DCA portfolios, have you guys ever considered Cardano? I know a lot of people have had mixed emotions around Cardano. Cardano has always had this kind of Marmite love-hate relationship amongst the crypto community. Many people are die-hard fans of Cardano, right? They cannot do anything wrong. But on the other side, you've got people who just hate Cardano. And I, I'll try to shed some light on why I think that is, and yet why I continued, even when there's been other exciting, more exciting, faster moving projects, continue to DCA into Cardano. Now, first and foremost, on the 16th of October that week, you could have been buying Cardano at lows of 24 cents. Now, this week, up 55%. In just a single week here on Cardano, now hitting a high here of 64 cents. Very impressive move for Cardano, breaking through important weekly resistance here at the 44 cents mark. And I will break down where the next level of resistance occurs because you can straight away see there's a bit of resistance coming in at 66. And naturally, that's going to be a difficult level for Cardano. But before that, we need to talk about why, right? Why is it we're seeing certain coins start to move? Now, I've been trying to share this with you guys over this last period of time. Risk is fundamentally rotating on. Now, if you understand the altcoin flow of how money flows from Bitcoin into Ethereum, into what? Large caps, right? Trusted projects that have been around start to move. And we're starting to see that. Now, granted, you are seeing meme coin history occasionally now and then. But most importantly, if you're looking for long term portfolio, there's a flight to the good projects right now. People are looking for solid, solid projects. And that is why you can see Cardano moving here to the upside. Remember, this is a top 10 cryptocurrency, right? Sitting here at a spot with a market cap of 21 billion. By no means is Cardano considered cheap, right? This is not a cheap project. I may talk about Phantom being cheap or undervalued. This is not a cheap project. You don't buy Cardano because you think it's cheap. Now, that being said, is it cheap relatively? This is the argument everybody's making now in their portfolio. They've got an option at so many different altcoins, 90%, 95%, 98% retrace from all-time highs. And you guys as investors have to decide, what is it I want to hold into this next bull cycle? Because guess what? There's other more exciting projects coming up, right? What about this new project? What about this new project? Look at this new project, which has just spun up, which is in price discovery mode. Nobody even knows how high it can go, and therefore anybody can make a video and and say this project is going to go to five dollars right and and everybody gets excited whereas with these projects what i like to call blue chips right a project which has been there seen it done it got a good uh you know capable leader iohk charles godson so we know what this project is about right this is from the early days of smart contract platforms now in the last cycle what was the biggest criticism guys you guys watching this what was the biggest criticism of cardano the biggest criticism always was they had nothing going on a ghost chain everybody would say why is this sitting in the top five at times in the altcoin list when they don't even have smart contracts when solana has so much usage when even phantom and algren and all the stuff people are using they didn't even have a smart contracts platform launched at that point and yet they're commanding price points all the way up here to highs of over three dollars on cardano and so you sit here and now make the argument hang on a second the landscape has fundamentally changed. The ADA you were buying here during this bear market is not the same ADA you had up here. Now, granted, at the time, you can justify this valuation because at the time, was there much competition for ETH? There wasn't that much, right? After Ethereum, there was ADA on the scene and everyone was jumping over Cardano and Charles Hodgson you know, left Vitalik Buterin, Gavin Wood went and worked on Polkadot, Charles Hodgson left and worked on Cardano, and those projects were blue chip projects, right? There wasn't all this other stuff we have now, Sui and Near Protocol and this and Casper and all this other stuff, right? That's all now. So at the time when there was an opportunity to invest in something other than Ethereum, because many people thought they missed the ship on Ethereum, where were people going to? Last cycle, they were going to projects like Cardano, they were going to projects like, uh, like Polkadot, right? They were looking for 
more projects like HBAR even, right? Which we covered a lot on this channel. And so then you could argue why that price point went up to that point. But now you need to look at it from a position of, look, their smart contract platform has launched, right? They're now going to move into their area of efficiency and optimization, right? They need to go and do that and focus on scalability as well. But fundamentally, things have changed. Just look at this chart here in terms of the total value locked. Remember, we covered a phantom yesterday on a phantom update. And phantom price action has been moving here recently, and I did a breakdown yesterday. But their total value locked, like many other projects, collapsed in the bear market, right? From like $8 billion, it collapsed to like $50 million on, on Phantom. But look at Cardano. Because Cardano launched their smart, tra uh, smart contracts platform, they have had a period where they've been able to steadily grow their total value locked. And you're starting to see this growing, growing, growing. Look at this little spike here over the last couple of days, guys. Total value locked now jumping to almost half a billion dollars. This is significant. And if we go back to compare this to other chains, where does this now put Cardano, right? If I just move my big head out of the way, you can see here, this now puts Cardano sitting here firmly at ninth position. So now it's in a position where it's total value locked. In other words, one of its measures of are people using this chain is now in, uh, in, in conjunction with its rating in terms of its market cap, right? It's the eighth biggest project by market cap, and it's the ninth biggest project by total value locked, which is one metric, of course, of people using the blockchain. So this is a really positive starting line for Cardano. I'm not saying this is it. This is a great starting line for Cardano to say, hang on, we're sitting here at 30 protocols, right? We've got 76,000 addresses, right? We're sitting here at half a billion or 400 million here in total value locked. We could really start to move this thing, right? We can really start to now use that as a starting point and start growing this into the next bull market. I mean, you look at Avalanche, much more protocols, right? Seven times the number of protocols, right? And yet less addresses. You see what I'm saying here? You look at all of these and you go, hang on, there's a lot of room for Cardano to grow. Polygon has way more addresses than Cardano, right? Same for Solana, much more usage, even Arbitrum, much more usage. So you can see there's a lot of work for them to do, but the fact that they're sitting there is now equality with where you're seeing its market cap is. And that's very, very interesting when you look at it from a TVL perspective. And when you drill down, you start to see what's going on. You start to see that they're starting to build their projects. Remember, in the last cycle, you're sitting there going, hang on, nothing's going on in Cardano. They didn't even have an, an, uh, uh, an AMM, right? They didn't have a Uniswap equivalent where people can go and use it as an exchange. People were using Uniswap. They were using PancakeSwap on, on BNB Smart Chain, on BSC, right? But there was nothing here. Now you're starting to see the early stages of this now starting to kick off, right? Indigo here, right? As a CDP, 100 million in total value locked. You got MinSwap, their DEX, which is sitting at 90 million. Lending platform for 50 million, right? They're starting to pick some uh, traction up, early stages, but they've still got to do a bunch of work. And why does that not bother me? Why does it not bother me? If you guys have been watching my content for a while, you guys know why this will not bother me. Why does it not bother me that when I sit here on Cardano, I'm not bothered that they're not on billions of dollars of total value locked? or the fact that they don't have hundreds of protocols like Polygon or Solana 116. Because I never invested in Cardano for them to be the fastest. Uh, when I DCA into Cardano, I've said this from day dot, you can go back years now and watch my videos. I said, I invest in Cardano as a hedge in my portfolio. Every other project, when you invest in projects in your portfolio, you may have a project that moves fast and breaks things. You might have something turbulent like Casper. You might have something turbulent in your portfolio like Phantom, which can cause you a lot of problems because they're smaller market cap. You may have something going through a regulatory battle like XRP. You may have something like Solana, which is moving fast and breaking things and creating downtime and security risks. Do you not at some point go, hang on, what if all those projects were wrong? What if the right project, which is going to become the biggest smart contract platform in the world, is the one that did everything slowly, methodically, from an academic peer-reviewed research point of view, to audit everything and have it all peer-reviewed and, 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 and cleared by academics before pushing it through? Yes, moving slower moving much slower. They could have been much more ahead and got much more notoriety and launched their decks nice and early and had some downtime and broken something here and patched it together and did a hard fork over here and moved on. But that's not why I invest in Cardano, right? I've invested in Cardano to not do that. I've got other projects that can do that. Move fast, get so much TBL that you grow, get so much attention, be great at your marketing and hype. No, Cardano is the opposite. And so for me, that's why I'm so happy with the position I have of Cardano in the portfolio, that if those kinds of plays don't do well, at this point, you go, OK, at least I've got this Cardano one, which if the market starts to want to look at a proof of stake platform 
which does move slower, is a bit more institutional friendly, right? Less res reckless, less downtime, and just kind of more steady, slow. You know where it's going, right? It's a big cruise liner, which is hard to turn around. That is why I have Cardano in my portfolio. So there you have it, guys. Great movement here on Cardano. Insane price movement. There's just early remnants of what a bull market could ensue for Cardano. Very quickly, as I promised you, some price targets. Let's take a look at what I'm seeing here. You can see my Fibonacci ratios. Again, if you guys want to learn this kind of stuff, jarscrypto.com forward slash TA. That is my TA course. You're going to learn all this stuff. Fibonacci ratios, EMA ribbons, all that good stuff. It's in a structured curriculum. Don't spend hours and hours going through YouTube trying to figure it out. It's in one place. Keep open on your tab. Anytime you see a chart pattern, go into my videos and reference it from there. Cool. If you want to trade with us, ejarscrypto.com forward slash TG. Price target here, Fibonacci Golden Pocket, looks at a conservative target, in my opinion, guys. Of course, do your own research. $2 here on Cardano. I think that's going to be really comfortable for Cardano in this cycle. More excitingly, all-time highs. Again, I just made the whole argument in this video that getting to that $3.10 price target for Cardano is going to be easy, in my opinion. They were getting at that valuation when they had nothing. No smart contract platform, no total value log, no use cases, no debt no nothing no stable coins nothing and they were sitting at that valuation so more excitingly you start to look at price targets up in this area you see here fibonacci golden extensions gets you to four dollars and eighty right okay fine i'll tell you what's more exciting take a look at the market cap here of cardano and you see it sitting here uh here on number uh nine as we saw it right so uh, sorry number eight as we saw it sitting there at 21 billion call that 20 billion dollars in market cap and you see ethereum sitting here at 300 right 300 so you're already talking a 15x nearly just to get to ethereum's market cap today which by the way everybody everybody can imagine when the bull market's running bitcoin's you know thundering across up towards 100k and beyond its market cap close to 2 trillion right and where do you expect ethereum to be at that 1 trillion mark doing a 4x from here 5x ethereum going past ten thousand dollars well then what do you think cardano could be do you think cardano can't do a 10 15x to kind of get to this size that ethereum is in now in a bear market and that's where you start to get more exciting returns of saying hang on maybe we can 15x here on cardano maybe cardano can get to ten dollars twelve dollars fifteen dollars here and that's where you can start to make those justified uh takes in terms of price perspective another thing to watch out for here guys is do notice that we do have, of course, a max supply of aid, and we have good circulating supply. And this is really important, guys. Whenever you're looking at a project, don't just look at the price, look at the valuation, look at the market cap, look at other comparable projects, look at the TVL like we just went through, and then look at the tokenomics, right? You're sitting here with 78% in circulating supply. So when you look at some of the other projects which are valued high, you've got to look at the fully diluted valuation, right? 27 billion, not too bad for a top 10 project here uh, on coin market cap so there you have it guys my breakdown on cardano tell me in the comments what do you guys think about Cardano? is this a project you love is this a project you hate or just kind of not sure whether to add it thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one